Well, hello, my name is Maisha Standifer. I am the Director of Population Health here at Satcher Health Leadership Institute at Morehouse School of Medicine. And thank you, welcome, thank you for coming to Walk in Her Shoes. We're elated that people are able to come, to share, to mingle, to eat, fellowship. Uh, again, here for a, a great occasion in terms of uh, educating, informing, and empowering uh, black women, mothers and daughters to speak about HIV prevention and care and survivorship. My name is Rhonda Holliday and I am serving as the moderator for this evening's event. My name is Dr. Jasmine Clark and I am the state representative for Georgia's House District 108. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha Rogers, board certified OBGYN practicing in Atlanta. My name is Missy Vicks. I'm on the panelists for Walk in Her Shoe. Hi, my name is Kayla Quimbley. I am a panelist for the Walk in Her Shoes event at Morehouse School of Medicine. I'm Asanya Trailer, and I am the executive director and founder of a nonprofit organization called Lady Burgundy. My name is Beautiful with two L's, and that two L's is living and loving and learning to love yourself again because we have to say yes to ourselves. And today we are here at Walk in Her Shoes event, and I'm one of the panelists, and it's so very important here in our community for black and brown women and children to know that you are worthy. I'm really excited to be here because I feel like this event is something that the community needs. We need to shine a light on black women in HIV, black women living with AIDS. We often are overlooked. I've been HIV positive for the last 25 years and so I've been able to share my story more because of my daughter um, doing HIV advocacy. And so that's why events like this are so important because number one it's really good for us to hear from the community about where the gaps are, what the needs are, and it's also good for the community to hear from people like myself in um, public policy to know what we are doing. I believe that women should be in charge and in front of their status, their health status. And walking her shoes and what it means to me is like you really take a moment to reflect on what it is to be in another person's shoes, particularly black women and how we're navigating the HIV diagnosis. So remember, say yes to yourself and saying yes to life.